All right, y'all. What's up, Corso people? This is Saladin Salon for King Corso, Connor Depressor, and Neapolitan Mastino Historical Talk. Hopefully, y'all having a lovely day. I just want to basically clear the air about certain things because a lot of enthusiasts are writing books now, and the information they're giving in these books is false. False information, misguided, dumb, dumb stuff, man. Like, I can't respect it. I'm not going to respect it, and I'm damn sure going to read it, and then I'm going to correct certain aspects of the book. Certain aspects were the truth, other aspects was was not, was not. So let me show and prove, you know, like, this is what other enthusiasts should be doing, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. So there ain't be no argument, none of that stuff, because these are the facts. All right, you see this dog right here? That is a Neapolitan Mastiff, right? This is the new Neo. This is today's Neo. Today's Neo is not the reflection of the traditional Neo is. This is a traditional Neo beside this dog. This dog right here is a traditional Neo. That Neo is in the 1950s. This is the style of Neo. This Neo is a, a Panagnus. The Panagnus is the dog. It's the Roman Molossula. This is the dog that was on the, the, the huts of the poor people. They had these dogs. They had these dogs alongside with sheep dogs. But anyway, this dog survived. In Italy, unscathed for centuries. These are the dogs, right? Right here, this dog. He went over the, 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 the Alps, the mountains. They went into Europe. And they started over, in minor age, and started over breeds. This dog right here, this dog, this type of dog. This dog was in the gladiator, fighting the gladiators and et cetera, and other animals and killing people. This dog right here. Not this dog. This dog can't even get off your front stool. If it's hot outside, he's collapsing. He can't breathe. This is sad. This is not the traditional dog. I don't know what can you call this. They shouldn't look like this. They shouldn't look like this. This is what they should look like. And you'd be like, oh my God, well, that looks like a Corso. You know why it looks like a Corso? Because the Corso is this. It's a kind of depressor. It is a coming upon you people to research. You have to research. You have to research. It's, it's just bottom line. Bottom line of stuff. Now, all right. Let's compare the dog. Same dog. To a Corso. And that's a Corso. His name is Bali. And this dog was... This picture was taken in 2006. He's a King Corso. This is how your King Corso is supposed to look, y'all. This is how your cane corso is supposed to look if he's real tight. Because there's different styles of cane corso. Some are bigger than others. But this is a tight one. He's real tight in the face. Tight. Doesn't have a lot of do laps. And if you look at this dog, almost, is, almost identical. He got a little bit more do laps. But then again, cane corso is going to have that. A traditional neo is a corso. They're one of the same breed. They're not the same breed today, but yesterday in 1956, 50s, 40s, and going back, they were the same breed of dog. Same breed. Showing and proving right now. Look, showing and proving. All right. Let's get another picture, historical picture. Let me show you Grinaldi. Grinaldi. This is the dog. That is supposed to be the template of the Neapolitan Mastiff. Right here. Right here. And he's one of the first ones that Scandizi picked to be the template. Now, if your Neos don't look like this dog, not built like this dog, you already know the scenario, right? Right. Okay. Now, I want to show you something. Because a lot of people said, this dog right here is part Rottweiler. He's a Rottweiler. He's Rottweiler, Pitbull, and Neapolitan Mastiff. Now, I'm going to say this. You show me the goddamn Pitbull that looks like this shit. Please show me the Pitbull. I need to see that Pitbull. Show me that Pitbull, please. Show me the Pitbull. Show me the Rottweiler that looks like this. I'm going to zoom in the head. Show me that Rottweiler head like this. Show me with the angulation, the muzzle, and all of that is just like this. Show me. Oh, you look like a funny color Rottweiler. You're a liar. You're a liar. I'm going to show you who he looks like. Let me put those two pictures together. Let me show you something. Because we're going to learn today. We're going to learn today. 
Now, I did say that Granoli was a kind of depressor. That's them together. That's Kokomo's head. That's Granoli's head. Look at the damn head. Look at the head. Look at the head. Same breed of dog. Cecilia Bacharo, kind of depressor. Neapolitan Mastiff, kind of depressor. Panaces, both dogs. Panaces, same damn breed. Same breed. Like I said, the Italians play a word semantics game. I understand that it's confusing. I understand. I understand. But you got to look past the dumb, dumb stuff, man. Beffy with the name play and research. But I'm showing you. Same head type. Same head type. You know why it's the same head type? Because they the same breed. Hold on. Because I ain't finished. You know, I ain't finished. I ain't finished. Not by a long shot. And I'm going to kind of like slow it down now. But let me show you something else. These are two corsos. These are two different styles of corsos. This corso has a little bit more do laps in the face. His body is longer. He's more traditional looking. But that is a corso. He's a brindle dog, not related to bar sharing them. That was in 19, what, 86, it says. Dog brindle dog. This is when he was born in 86. That is a corso. You see his tail? That is a corso. You see the long gated? Like he's long gated? You see that, right? Now let me show you this one. This one looks more like a pit bull. He was early, they said 84. He was born in 84 and probably died in 90. But all right, 84 dog. But you see him, right? He's more tighter in the face. But nevertheless, he's a corso. Why your corsos ain't looking like this? Why they not looking like, all right, so if they're going to be tight in the face, they should have this type of look. If they're going to be kind of loose in the face, then it's like a Neo. It can be that. These both are corsos. These both are traditional corsos. All right, let's talk about Barsha. Let me show you him. Nice looking dog, right? And still, a lot of your corsos don't even look like this. And they're supposed to. This is the template of the Corso breed. He was supposed to be the template. Now, where did Pablo Barber get this dog from? I don't know. He said he bred it. Duno to Tipsy, and this is the outcome of that. I think Duno was probably a part boxer. How can I back that up? Let me show you the traditional boxer. Not the today's boxer. I'm going to show you a traditional boxer. That's today's boxer. And this is what your corsos are starting to look like a little bit. You need to stop that. Like on some real stuff. They're starting to look like this. But let me show you the back in the day. The back in the day um, boxer. Let me show you back in the day boxer. Okay. You see the painting of these two dogs right here? Damn. Do you see that? Do you see that? That looks like Barsha, don't it? 18th century boxer. 18th century boxer. So Barsha really didn't have the traditional look of a kind of depressor. They said he was a kind of depressor. But not the traditional look, right? But no, again, let me show you them again. Cool head, though. If the Italians would have stopped here and they're breeding other breeds into the dogs, they would have been quite fine because he's not a bad looking dog. He's not a bad looking corso, despite the stuff that they started off with. Like, yo, the stuff they kind of started off with, not saying in the breed, I'm saying in this bloodline right here because they were. Plenty of corsos in Italy. The misconception, even with the Scandi with Perro Scandizi with the Neapolitan. Yo, there was no Neos around. We had to save the breed. That is a lie. That is a lie. I'm gonna say that again. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. All the, every time I turn around, this breed is almost a stink and everybody has one. Like, yo, that's crazy. I'm not saying that the breed was recognized, but it was there. 
1956. Now, I just showed you some traditional dogs, right? Got to show you this. Hold on. Got to show you this. Historical picture. You see that power ball dog in the corner there with this guy? That is a kind of depressor. That is a real kind of depressor. That's not a meso corso. That is a kind of depressor. That is your traditional corso alongside with a dilute color corso. Another dilute color, which is more traditional, more of the mainstream. Some of the mainstream dogs look like. Not bad looking dogs, though. For neos, all, 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 all corsos. And this dog right here is a pointed Neapolitan master. He's pointed. He has points. He has the Rottweiler coloring and the points. So you said that, yo, well, you know, the Neapolitan Mastiff, the Mastino of the ancient time, didn't come pointed. It came pointed, man. It came pointed. It came pointed. The sheepdogs in Italy and Sicily, sometimes they come pointed. I showed and proved that. These dogs are beside, right beside the Mastiff stock. These dogs interbred with each other. This is what the rustic corso is. This is what the true corso is. This is what your Neapolitan Mastiff is. He's these dogs combined in one. Like, yo, it is what it is. It is what it is. The traditional dogs, the indigenous dogs of that land. It is what it is. Okay, let me go on. Because I got to keep showing and showing and proving. Here go a painting. Now, I don't know what century this painting was taken or drawn. But there go a kind of depressor. This is a Neapolitan Mastiff. You see what color he is, right? Do you see? Do you see? Hold on. Because I ain't finished. Yeah, you know me. I ain't finished. I ain't finished. Let me show you some more traditional old-time photographs. This this dog is in Carl Semitic book, World of Fighting Dogs. Um, the last one, Gladiator Dogs. This is a dog. This is a Neo. In the 1920s, this is a kind of depressor. You see this dog's head? Do you see this head? Do you see the build of this dog? You would say, yo, that's a Corso. Kind of depressor. Same breed. That's what they were called. They were called by many names. I got eight right here. Ponasis. Cecilia Bacharo. Candy Marcelli. Marcello. Whatever the hell. Kind of depressor. Uh, a Borussi, a Boruso, a Boru, I don't know how you pronounce this stuff. A Borussi, a Boruso, Calbrain, a Sicilian Dugo, and a Vus, a Vusi, a Vusiku Sicilian. And all of these dogs are Panasis dogs. So, same breed as this dog. But just coming in, some had tighter faces than others, right? And some were bigger than others. That's it. That is it. Same breed, though. Same breed. Same breed. Same breed. Or used to be the same breed. In fairness, I'm going to say. But look. Here you go another kind of depressor. Look at his head. So don't tell me these dogs didn't come in this color. Don't tell me they ain't come Powerball. Because I'm showing you they came Powerball. Hold on. Hold on. Because I ain't finished. Here go another ancient painting. So you seeing for yourself, right? These dogs come Powerball. I'm going to show you in the second segment that these dogs still come Powerball. Hold on.